Hello everyone, my name is David Preston and I'm the Director of Investments for Wealth Management at First Bank. This is the third special market update I've done since this crisis began, and unlike the prior two, the news is a little more optimistic today versus my last two updates. While the daily news of deaths and additional cases from the virus remains tragic, and the current economic news is still among the worst in our history, it appears there is some hope as things are improving on the medical front and states around the country are either in the early stages of reopening or will soon reopen. But one question I'm often asked by my clients and others is why is the stock market holding up so well while current economic news is so bleak? First, because the stock market tends to discount future news and historically tends to bottom before the actual news flow turns positive, we've seen a very robust rally from the March 23rd lows with the S&P 500 up close to 30%. For the month of April, the S&P 500 was up 13%, its best monthly gain since 1974, and the third best monthly gain since World War II. While the fall from the record highs in February to a drop of around 35% in mid-March was one of the fastest declines in history, we've also had one of the quickest rebounds in history. For the 20 trading days after March 23rd, the S&P 500 was up 22%, the second most powerful rally in the stock market's history, only trailing the March-April 2009 recovery after the great financial crisis. Secondly, if you're using the S&P 500 as a proxy for the stock market, remember the index is not the, the whole economy. It only represents 500 companies, and many of the larger companies in the index are actually holding up pretty well in this environment, if not actually thriving. Stocks like Amazon and Netflix are two good examples. But for the stock market to build on its recent gains in the short term, investors will need to see some relatively good news flow out of the state's reopening. Will there be some reasonable success with limited new COVID-19 cases, and will the economies in those states slowly get back to normal, or will there be another major wave of outbreaks causing more economic pain as shutdown orders will have to be reinstated? By the end of May, roughly one-third of the country will be open again, or at least start to ease some of their lockdown restrictions. But for a longer, more sustainable economic recovery, as well as for the stock market to continue its rebound and eventually recover all of its previous losses and hit new record highs, it will need to be medically driven. It will depend on three things, in my opinion. First, we need wide, accurate, and quick testing. Second, development and approval of antivirals, and eventually a vaccine, which probably won't be ready at the earliest until late this year, or more likely in the first half of next year. On the antiviral front, we got big news last week when a company reported results of its remdesivir study showing a 30% reduction in recovery times. This was followed up by emergency FDA approval on Friday, and it appears the first doses of the drug will be available this week in hospitals. Not a complete silver bullet, you can't take the pill and it magically goes away, but it helps build the toolbox for the future and is one big step in getting back to normal. Thanks for your time today, and as you go out in the coming weeks, don't forget your mask, maintain social distancing, wash those hands, and stay safe. And if you have any follow-up questions or would like to review your situation in more detail, please contact your current wealth professional at First Bank.